Hello YouTube. I am back with another video about Pinnacle Studio Ultimate 18. This is my second in my little series here. On this one, I've gone out today and I did a review of my Manfrotto tripod. And as you can see in here, I have brought in all of that video. I also have audio and uh, we'll get to that after a while and how to match this up. I shot this in total with three different cameras, two GoPros and my 5D Mark III. Now if we click on one of these to look up you can see the name right here that I called this one, say Manfrotto Tripod Review Close Up MP4. And then of course if we look here there's the that's, that was the first one, this is the second, that's the third, and that's the fourth of the of the close up one. Well actually no, that's the third one. Okay. So here for my main card, for my main view, that's the first one, that's the second one, that's the third one, and here's the fourth one. And then from my side angle that I did, my second card, there's the first one, second, third, and fourth. So this is this is my video. Now again, as I said last time, when you put things down on your on your timeline by default, you can see that this lighter gray color, this is where it automatically goes to to this AV track audio video, of course. So by default, it will go there. So what I want to do in this instance is I want to grab my first video of my main card. I want to go to my last one. I, I press down my shift and hit my left key. All those are selected. I just go back here to this one. I right click, go down to hit send timeline, and boom, there it is. So, I will show you what I've done in the past and show you how I'm going to do it differently this time to make this actually better. So, I'm going to go ahead and let this all render out and then once it's done we'll come back and and begin again and I'll I'll show you what I think is a is a mistake way to do this and then obviously then we'll go back with the proper way to do this so we'll be back momentarily okay now that those have rendered out <coughs> as you can see the little yellow green line up there is gone so that means that everything is is rendered out so now what we're going to do, we're going to pick these four videos from our second card, from my secondary view, from the side. And what I, and this is what I used to do. This is actually the wrong way. I'll explain why in just a minute here. But I would take these, and I would send them to timeline. So again, you can say I just like them all. Right click, left click on send to timeline. And again, and we start this thing rendering out. So here we go all this video you can see over 16 minutes 20 seconds and this will render the whole thing now I will let this go until it gets the first part done which is uh, well, it's quite a ways it's almost 10 minutes long so let's, we'll let that first part render out and then I'll come back and we'll continue on and I'll show you why I had to quit this Okay, now this thing has mostly gotten done with uh, with its rendering. It's still running towards the end, but no big deal. So you can see we've got our, our two different tracks here of video and audio on here. Because obviously these have audio built right into them. And uh, here's the problem now. When you go like this, you see right now, if I, if I go through this thing right here, scrubbing a little bit, you see me jumping out there, boy I'm fast ain't I? But anyway, um, all this is showing you is this top track. You're seeing nothing from down here. So you may be asking, well, how can I see this and why in the world would you put it there if you can't see it? Well, you see this little eye right here? You see right there when I put my mouse over it says turn on off at video monitoring on this track. So when I hit that, you see we get that little line through it. And now it's showing a very ugly picture, which let's, let's get past that if we can. And uh, so you can see, here's the problem. You see, all of this just rendered out. When I'm on 
this tracker and blank this one out. Remember, I put this in there and it was rendering, right? And it rendered for quite a little while. Now that I've, I've blanked this one out, it goes back and re renders the same thing all over again. See, because if I take that off, see how that goes away? Hey, everything's fine, right? Well, no, it's not. Because again, see, if I do this one, see, then we're fine, which this doesn't matter because you're always going to see the top track anyway. But when we do this one again, watch, look at there, starts all over yet again. So this thing will render and re render and re render and re render and on and on and on. You get the picture. So this is the problem. And then, so if you sit here and wait, and again, you can see this very first clip ends right here. So that ends, well, let's get a fairly precise measurement here. That ends at uh, about 9 minutes and 55 seconds. So, we got to wait. You can, you can see how it's going along right here. It, it's probably about second per second in real time. So, you're going to spend about 10 minutes waiting for this to re-render. Now, here's the kicker, and I'm not going to sit here and do this, but let's say that, uh, obviously, and, and I would want to, want to go through here and cut out this first part where I'm looking and seeing, and then I would go to wherever the video and the audio start matching up. But uh, just, for, just for, for kicks, let's just say that it's right here at this point, right? So I would go up here, I would split this clip, you can see again, started all over because I split the clip. Then, if I hit this, and I delete that section, and again, you can see, still here we go, got rid of that little clip, and it starts all over yet again. But see, what it does, it goes down to the next clip, and it starts, so now it's got to do this whole thing that starts right here, now that I've cut it, about 9 minutes and 40 seconds. And this one goes to about 11.35 or so. And so it has to render that part out. And then it will come back here and start doing this again. And then guess what? Once we get all that done, if I cut another clip, say another one second out of it, because I didn't get it matched just right, then it starts all over again. So it renders and re-renders and re-renders and on and on and on. For many many times I mean it's just it's ridiculous how that it does this so if you're trying to to set it up like this and again see when I shut that off well usually that will go away but now it hasn't see the whole thing so it's like this top row is not rendered so you see so now even though I have made no changes to this one it's actually re-rendering this one now even though it has been rendered out. So you see as you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, cutting and mixing in and you know bringing in some of this with that, making some of this be seen through that, etc, etc. It just keeps re-rendering. So you will spend, oh I don't know, I guess I probably spent 15-20 hours editing a, a video that winds up being 10, 12, 13, 14 minutes long and a lot of it is sitting simply waiting, waiting for all this rendering to go. So let's grab all this video for my sake and we'll just kill it off the line. So now you can see now that this one's rendered out this is our this is where we're going to start so we're going to we're going to do it this way and and then I will start here in a minute and I'll show you the right way to do this